Welcome to Vitec2 System Software Version 9.01 Software Navigation. Over the next few minutes, you'll be introduced to the new and improved Vitec2 System Software. This video is not meant to replace face to face training or any Vitec Systems user manuals. By the end of this video, you will be able to list and describe the three parts of the Vitec2 Systems Version 9.01 software. Navigate to the Vitec2 web application and Vitec FlexPrep. Add a new AST card definition. Record a QC shipment. Manage cassettes. Review and isolate. And access long term data storage. The Vitec2 system software is now divided into three applications that work synergistically to manage Vitec2 systems results. The first is the Vitec2 Systems application, which is used for system configurations and some utilities. The second is the Vitec2 Systems web application, which is used for all daily workflow activities. The third is Vitec FlexPrep, a new cassette definition option. Each of these sections will be reviewed individually, followed by workflow examples. The Vitec2 Systems application used in previous Vitec2 Systems software versions has been significantly simplified in Vitec2 Systems software version 9.01. As revealed within the main menu, the Cassette View, Isolate View, QC View, and Manage Patient Information icons have been removed from the Vitec2 Systems application. The configuration menu remains unchanged. All major system configurations, from version information and general configuration, to the Advanced Expert System, AES, and the BioMareU Advanced Reporting Tool, BioArc configuration, are still controlled from within the Vitec2 Systems application. While some of these configurations may be viewed from within the new Vitec2 Systems web application, all changes must be made in the Vitec2 Systems application. The Utilities menu has altered slightly from Vitec2 Systems version 8.01 to version 9.01. For example, the Audit Trail, Card Usage Report, and Create PDF Reports remain, but both Long-Term Data Storage and Maintain AST Card Definitions have been relocated to the web application. When accessing the Vitec2 Systems web application for the first time, security exceptions will need to be added. When the Vitec2 web icon is clicked, a browser window will display stating that your connection is not secure. To add one or more security exceptions, select Advanced. Click Add Exception. At the bottom of the pop-up window, ensure the option Permanently Store This Exception is enabled. Click Confirm Security Exception and repeat if necessary. The single sign-on login screen will automatically display after security exceptions have been added. The Vitec2 Systems web application is greatly improved in version 9.01. When it was introduced in Vitec2 Systems software version 8.01, it was mostly read-only and primarily utilized for the review and approval of isolates. In version 9.01, the Vitec2 Systems web application has expanded to include all daily activity. Most importantly, Isolate View, QC View, Cassette View, and Maintain Patient Information View have all been integrated into the web application. The Vitec2 Systems web application does not contain a main menu. Instead, the software opens up to the redesigned version of Isolate View, known as Worklist. Isolate view in the Vitec2 system software version 8.01 previously consisted of a navigation tree and a working zone in the same screen. In 9.01, Isolate view becomes a work list with summary isolate information. Isolates can be searched for using filters in any of the columns displayed in the work list view. For example, a user can search for any isolate with lab ID 103 by clicking on the Accession ID filter and typing in 103. Filters can be removed at any time by clicking the Clear Filter button. Columns marked with the caret symbol can also be sorted in ascending or descending order. Columns can be added and removed from the work list using the Show Hide Columns icon. To view detailed isolate information, click on the desired isolate. 
Inside this view, you can find all cards linked to the isolate and view their results separately. By default, the AST card details are shown. To view the ID card, simply click on the ID card tab. All isolate level information can be found above the individual cards. Card-specific details are located in the column to the right of the card results. In the 8.01 Vitec 2 Systems application, Quality Control QC view is separate from isolate view. In version 9.01, QC isolates are combined with patient isolates and are found in work list view. The best way to locate QC isolates within the work list is to set a filter to the accession ID column. When setting a filter, check the box next to Select a QC Reference ID to filter and apply. No QC Reference ID needs to be chosen. The result will show all active QC isolates in the work list. As with patient isolates, QC isolate details can be viewed by clicking on the appropriate QC isolate in the work list. With the removal of a specific QC view, many of the QC specific functions have now been relocated to new screens. Record shipments, as well as QC cumulative and inventory reports, are now found in the Tools view of the Vitec 2 Systems web application. Cassette view in Vitec 2 Systems software version 8.01 consisted of a navigation tree and a working zone in the same screen. In 9.01, the view is located in the Vitec 2 Systems web application and consists of a work list and a drop down detailed view. Just like in previous versions of the Vitec 2 system software, when cassette view is accessed, any incomplete or red cassettes are displayed. Red cassettes must be edited and saved as soon as possible. To view all cassettes, remove the filter from the Cassette Status column. To view the details of a completed cassette, simply click on the arrow next to the Cassette Status, and the cassette details will be displayed below the row. Patient view in Vitec 2 system software version 8.01 consisted of a navigation tree and a working zone in the same screen. In the 9.01 web application, the view consists of a work list and a drop-down detailed view. The patient screen lists all of the patients with isolates in the active workspace. Clicking the arrow next to the patient's name will display a list of all active specimens connected to this patient. Patients and specimens can easily be added by clicking the Add Patient and Specimen and Add Specimen icons respectively. The Tools menu found in the web application is new to Vitec 2 System Software version 9.01. This screen provides access to maintain AST card definitions and long-term data storage, which were removed from the Vitec 2 Systems application. As mentioned before, it is also where customers should go to record QC shipments or create QC reports. This screen provides read-only access to the version screen and AES configuration. Finally, it provides access to the BioMariU user management software used to set up and manage users. The Vitec 2 system software version 9.01 introduces Vitec FlexPrep, an application that can be used to define Vitec 2 cassettes for both Vitec 2 Compact and Vitec 2 60 XL instruments. Once the cassette identifier is entered, the cassette can be set up and cards defined per isolate. When defining Vitec 2 cassettes, a summary screen is displayed on the left half of the screen while the slot definition occurs on the right hand of the screen. Future versions of Vitec FlexPrep will allow for simultaneous creation of Vitec MS slides from this same view. Now that the basics of the Vitec 2 web application and Vitec FlexPrep have been described, it is time for some workflow examples. To add a new AST card type to the Vitec 2 system software, perform these steps. Log into the Vitec 2 web application by double clicking the Vitec 2 web icon on the computer desktop. The work list screen will display by default. Enter full screen view. Navigate to the Tools menu. Click on the Maintain AST Card Definitions button. The screen that displays lists all the AST cards defined in the Vitec 2 system software. To add a new card type, click on the Add AST Card Definitions button in the top left hand corner of the page. 
Scan all of the barcodes on the new card's package insert. As each barcode is scanned, drug information will be added to the screen. Confirm that the list of drugs on the card matches what is on the package insert and select the check box confirming this. In the pop-up, confirm the list of drugs on the card again before clicking OK. Click on the checkmark icon to save the AST card definition. When receiving a new shipment of cards, the shipment needs to be recorded in the system prior to QC being performed on that card type. This can be accomplished in one of two ways. The first is the preferred method and involves recording the shipment prior to setting up a cassette with cards. Log into the Vitec 2 Systems web application by double-clicking the Vitec 2 web icon on the computer desktop. Enter full screen view. Navigate to the Tools menu. Click the Shipments icon. In the pop-up, insert the lot number, populate the date received field, the quantity delivered, and indicate whether the certificate of conformance was received. Click Add Shipment to record the shipment in the system. Click OK. If the shipment for a specific lot has not been entered and a lab technician attempts to set up QC with a card from this lot, a pop-up will display stating that a shipment needs to be recorded. Click the link in the pop-up to open a new Internet Browser tab that will allow the technician to record a shipment for the lot number. The lot number, expiration date, card type and date will automatically populate. Enter the quantity of the card delivered and indicate if the Certificate of Conformance has been received. Click the Add Shipment button. Click OK. Return to the Vitec FlexPrep tab. Click OK in the original pop-up. Re-enter full screen view. Continue defining the isolate and then validate it. Vitec FlexPrep is a new software that allows a user to create a virtual cassette. Vitec 2 customers can define cassettes prior to loading a cassette in any of the Vitec 2 system's instruments. To create a Vitec FlexPrep cassette, log into Vitec FlexPrep by double-clicking the FlexPrep icon on the computer desktop. By default, the sample preparation screen will display. Enter full screen view. Enter a cassette ID and then press Enter. This will pull up the cassette definition screen. Enter isolate and card information for the first card, in this case the ID card. If this is the only card in the isolate, double check all entered information is correct and click Validate. Otherwise, click to add another card, for example, an AST card. To set up a card for QC, click the QC box. Define the card, enter the QC organism ID, and validate it. When all cards have been defined and isolates validated, click the Send Cassette icon. Press OK and confirm on both pop-ups. After a Vitec FlexPrep cassette has been defined and the definition sent to Vitec 2 Systems, cassettes can be edited from the Vitec 2 Systems web application until the cassette is actually loaded into the instrument. In order to edit a Vitec FlexPrep cassette, log into the Vitec 2 Systems web application by double-clicking the Vitec 2 web icon on the computer desktop. By default, the work list screen will display. Enter full screen view. Navigate to Cassette View. By default, only red cassettes will display. Alter the cassette status filter to display all Vitec FlexPrep cassettes. Choose the appropriate cassette. Click the Edit button and make any desired edits. Click the OK button to save the changes. Once a cassette has been loaded into an instrument and the cassette is marked as complete, no changes can be made to the cassette. Vitec 2 System Software version 9.01 supports previous workflows, such as the Vitec 2 Smart Carrier Station cassettes, cassettes defined in the Vitec MS Prep Station, and Load and Go cassettes.
It adds the Vitec Flex Prep workflow to the Vitec 260 XL systems and replaces virtual cassette used with Vitec 2 Compact. If done incorrectly, any of these cassette workflows can lead to a red, incomplete cassette in the Vitec 2 system's web application that must be resolved before the isolates will be available in the work list. To resolve red cassettes, log into the Vitec 2 system's web application by double-clicking the Vitec 2 web icon on the computer desktop. By default, the work list screen will display. Enter full screen view. Navigate to Cassette View. By default, only red cassettes will display. Click on the Edit button in the row of the red cassette that needs to be saved. This will pull up the cassette details and allow any missing cassette information, such as accession ID or breakpoint infection site, to be entered. Once all missing information has been entered, click OK to save the cassette. The cassette should save easily and disappear from the list. If desired, a red cassette can be deleted. To do this, click the Delete icon in the row of the cassette to be deleted. Click OK to confirm the deletion. This will remove the cassette from the system completely. Any cards and isolates from the cassette must be set up and run again. Requirements for review and approval of isolates are determined by the configuration settings found in the Vitec 2 systems application. The workflow itself remains unchanged from previous Vitec software versions. Isolates that need attention can easily be located using the Isolate status filter in Work List View. If an isolate is qualified, view the isolate detail screen and add any missing information. In this specific example, an AST offline test is missing. Once the appropriate beta lactamase result is selected, a confirmation pop up will display and then the isolate will be reanalyzed. Based on the configuration of the system, the opportunity to print reports for the updated isolate may also display. If an isolate needs to be reviewed, this can be performed one of two ways. The first option is to select the box in the first column of each isolate's row and then click the check mark to review either single or multiple isolates at once. Alternatively, each isolate can be reviewed individually from the Isolate Detail screen. If isolates need to be approved, a laboratory supervisor or administrator will need to log into the Vitec 2 Systems web application to approve isolates. When enabled, long-term data storage is easily accessible from the Tools screen in the Vitec 2 Systems web application. In 9.01, long-term data storage looks and acts like the work list view for active isolates. Isolates in long-term data storage can be filtered and sorted, and isolate details can be viewed by clicking on the desired isolate. For each isolate, any combination of the Lab Report, Isolate Audit Report, Chart Report, AES Details Report, or ID and AST Card Details Report as applicable can be printed or saved as a PDF. 